Do you think that looks great together? Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today let us go back to what actually got me started in this one child skill collectibles huh? which is the SHV Quartz Dragon Ball line Frieza second form. Actually, I'm not kidding that this is really the line that actually got me started in this one child skill uh, action figure collections. Uh, it, my first one is, if I'm not wrong, is Goku. Yeah, the base form Goku that I have gotten very very old time ago and yeah that's what actually got me started and now my collection grew so much and i can't actually you know miss this second form freezer and i'm having a hard time to actually get him out <laughs> okay and here is the box and as you can see it is humongous and i'll do a quick size comparisons with this latest trunk as you can see <laughs> wow this is huge so let's check out the box design and as always this has not changed since many many years ago they are using this format and i just love it how they actually put the actual figures here and you can see the figures in the box very nice design and at the side you can see some pictures of the figure and at this side there's nothing much you can just see the frieza second form in the back is always my favorite you can see all the great poses for this guy and because this is an asia version so you have this little sticker right over here so let's get this badass out Okay, so this is Frieza's second form right out of the box. Oh my goodness, he looks just like in the anime. I still remember very clearly the first time I saw him transform. Oh my goodness, I just got a shock of my life because you know the very first form of Frieza is tiny, <laughs> he's short, and when he transformed into this humongous guy, I just got scared. <laughs> Somehow he looks so intimidating. Wow, I think even Vegeta is scared of him after that. And this figure doesn't disappoint, okay? So let's check out the details of the body first. I just love the way they use this. Uh, it's not like pure white, it's having some grey on it. Looks very realism, it's not absolutely clean and it just have all these very nice uh, linings on it. These are not just paint, it's actually sculpted very nice you can feel the lines there oh my god and his foot just humongous you can see that <laughs> they even painted the nail black very nice indeed and at the back <laughs> i have not put the tails yet uh, maybe i'll show you guys later but we'll just enjoy the overall look of this figure and again i have not <laughs> taken out the plastic yep okay so wow just beautiful and let's check out the head wow this is really frieza right out of the comics or anime this too is very sharp be very careful not to drop him because you might just broke these two parts yeah very sharp again be very careful just love this portion here wow very nice and his face just looks absolutely scary you can see that and right now i'm going to show you how to put on his tail as you can see there are two portions here so let's put this one first and you can see that it's rather easy just plug it in and next you will think that it's just to plug in this portion at the end of this tail right uh, wrong <laughs> yeah because as you can see it's actually uh being sliced off this is the broken tail but they did something very smart with this so this tail can be used as a broken tail and at the same time you can even take this portion out okay very very smart so as you can see you can just take this out and plug this in wow how amazing is that so you have a complete tail now and if you want to use a chop off tail you can just plug this back in wow this is really smart tamashi yeah so now his tail is very very long oh my goodness i just don't remember his tail being this long and you can even have it uh just support him in case you scared he will just fall over so in terms of the overall look this guy just blew me away 
Alright, next we'll move on to some articulations. I'll start with the head as always so he can look to the right, looks to the left, looking up, uh, just slightly. Looking down is way better. And he does have a separate neck from the head so it's very flexible here. So for both of his shoulder, this piece can actually be pushed up and as you can see, looks pretty good here, not so scary, <laughs> it doesn't look as fragile as others. So his arm can turn 360 degree, but you got to be very careful about this piece, okay? Okay. And going up, of course, he can go more than 90 degrees. And again, there is a butterfly joint that you can see, wow, go all the way out this is pretty good so there's an arm shivers a double joint elbow you can turn his hand around going up and down two points of articulations so as you can see on the waist here you can turn it going around for his lower torso you can also move it around yep very very articulable so let's see how well this freezer can kick forward wow slightly more than 90 degrees kicking backwards Wow, also slightly more than 90 degrees. Any pull down mechanism for the legs? Mm, nope. There's a tight shivers, a double joint knee. His foot is on a ball joint so you can move wherever you want to. And of course, there isn't any toe hinges. So let's see how well this freezer can do a split uh, about here. And now let's take a look at the articulations on the tail. So there is one big ball joint here that you can go up and down. Of course, you can even shiver it around. And there's a second ball joint here that you can also turn it around and shivers. And there's a third ball joint here that you can also turn it around and shivers around. Wow, so this tail itself has three points of articulation, which is pretty good. Wow, I really love the articulations on this guy that deserve a full points from me. And next, we'll check out the accessory that comes with it. I'll start with the hands as always. So he just comes with a pair of closed fist hands that's already on the figure. A pair of relaxed hands. A pair of open palms hands. A single right hand that is showing number two. Or a peace sign. <laughs> and a pair of relaxed foot for you to use when he's floating. And he just comes with another interchangeable heads part which I'm not sure what's the difference between this one. So let's do a little bit of comparison here and all I can see is this portion here, something like his eyebrow is slightly uh, lesser in this one <laughs> if I'm not wrong. Other than that, I think it looks rather similar. Three more interchangeable face blade. The one that is already on the figure, uh, he looks peace. This one, uh, he's actually smirking, smiling there. And this is the angry grinning teeth. And this is like a open mouth laughing. So this looks pretty good. And lastly, he does come with these glowing 4 star dragon balls from Planet Namek. So as you can see, this Frieza second form doesn't come with much accessory. Of course, the dog doesn't come with it. <laughs> so I was hoping that they could actually give maybe some effects part for his attack or something. And right up next, I'm going to show you how to put on some of the accessory onto him. I'll start with the hands as always. So basically, you just need to pull it out gently like this. And just attach the hand of your choice. Now can you see how good looking this is? Oh my goodness. And next I'm going to show you how to interchange the foot. It's the same as the hand. You just need to pull it out gently like this. And just pop it back in. As simple as that. So from here you can tell the difference between the two foot. This is for the one standing. It has a flat bottom. And this one is for you to use when he's... Uh, you can use it to stand on a stone or maybe during his uh, floating pose. It looks very good on this foot. And next, I'm going to show you how to interchange these face plates onto these two interchangeable heads. There are instructions on how you can do that. It doesn't go anywhere into the heads. So the instruction is actually on the flap of the box. They no longer print out a separate sheets of instruction anymore. So as you can see, the one that is already on the figure is this one here. It does have a round mark, I think. Only these two faces, you can actually put on this one. And this next one is actually the one that is extra right over here. It says there's a square mark and I see that square mark 
right here so this one only fits these two faces okay so let's try with this marlin open mouth face and see if it works yes it fits perfectly the same goes for this grinning teeth face but as you can see it's not working for this wicked smile which is supposed to go into this head so let's pop out this head and have a look and i'll remove the face so we can see yes there's a circle mark here so the wicked smile should go into this head yes it's perfect so now we can compare both the head and see what's the difference there uh okay so the eyebrow for this one which is the extra head does have a little bit of circling up here but this one is just like um flat i think <laughs> yeah maybe it's the same after all yeah i can't really see what's the difference maybe you can share with me down in the comment sections if you know what's the difference between these two interchangeable heads so let's try on the smirking ones onto the body wow this looks pretty good there and let's try on this other head which have the grinning teeth as well as this open mouth laughing head this is pretty good now if you are enjoying the review do click on the like button <laughs> And next, we'll move on to some size comparison. I'll compare him, of course, with the SHV Quartz Dragon Ball. So I do have this Goku, which is from the Dragon Ball Super Hero line. And also this Vegeta from the Super Saiyan mode. And next, we have this Gohan from the Super Hero series as well. And also this Super Saiyan Trunks from the Dragon Ball Z series. And next, we'll compare with something smaller. I have these two. Gohan and Krillin, which is from the Planet Namek Armor series. And next, we'll compare with the villains. I have Captain Jinyu here, which is smaller than him, as well as his brother Cooler. Wow, I always thought Cooler is big, but this guy seems to be bigger than him. And next, I'll compare with these two cell, which is the first form on my left and also the perfect form on my right. I really think we should get a new 2.0 for this perfect cell. What do you think? And next I'll compare with the final form of himself. Yes, so you can see this is the earlier version which comes with the rock and this is the newer version. I forgot what they call him. <laughs> and lastly from the SHV Guas, how can we miss comparing with himself which is the First form Frieza in his space pod and also this Dragon Star first form Frieza. Wow, I do think that looks great together. And still on the SH figures line, I will compare him with some non Dragon Ball characters. So I have Black Adam here, which is pretty big but still shorter than him, and also the amazing Spider Man Andrew Garfield versions. And lastly, just to give you a glimpse on how he scaled with some Marvel Legends, I have this Wolverine here and also a Mayfax which is this Cyborg Superman. Okay, so next I would like to talk about the scale for this guy. As you can see on the size comparison earlier, he scaled pretty good, okay? And I've seen this picture earlier on when I Google about his scale. So we can do a comparison based on this picture. You can see I even take off his tail <laughs> just to match the picture. And of course, I do need Piccolo as well, the same as the picture. And you can see, wow, I think both of them scale pretty well together yeah it's just like in the picture and at the same time of course i'd like to scale him with his own self from the shv gods of course so from here you can see yeah i think this big guy here actually scale very well even with his own self that's how big he grew wow this is really really good skill and the best part is i always think that this cooler will be the biggest among all but since this guy came out wow you can see now that he's actually slightly taller than him uh, without considering the horns that they both have yeah this guy is actually bigger and taller wow and they looks great together okay so next we'll talk about the price for this guy i actually gotten him around 100 usd and this guy as you might have guessed it is a tamashi web exclusive again so if i were to say the price is too much uh yes and no because yes as in 
yeah it's very costly because of the accessory as you can see it doesn't even comes with much but if you were to consider his skill and the engineering and the design and everything like that yes this is something like a new mold that they have to make in order to produce this guy so yeah i, I would understand why they would charge slightly higher yep so but <laughs> in my case as a consumer i would still think that this guy is rather costly so it might not be for everyone who actually wants to collect it okay so my final verdict based on all the star ratings so far is going to be an 8 out of 10 yes aesthetically Ah, needless to say this guy is a beauty in terms of the articulation i think he's pretty good but for the accessory it's kind of lacking when it comes to the skill wow this guy is brilliant but when it comes to the price and the worthiness to get uh unless you're a big dragon ball z fans or big frieza fans i think some of you guys might not even consider getting him but for me i would just love to get all the form for frieza sell or even boo yeah i just love all their transformations so yes i'm totally recommending you to get this second form frieza by that it means that you will have to get the third form as well before it comes to the final form then it will be a complete set of frieza transformations but even for myself i'm still on the edge of whether i should get the third form because it is very scary to me but i will assure you that this second form frieza will make a very great presence in your display of your dragon ball collections so i do hope that you enjoy my review and i certainly hope that it helps you to decide whether you should get this guy and i'll catch you again in my next video i hope you will check out this video right over here peace